Today we're looking back on our favorite food creations of 2022. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We did it. We made it through another year. Another year older, can you tell? Happy holidays. Yeah, dude. Another year wiser, can you tell? You look very no. wise today, Link. Uh, and another I look year. I like I can't shave my own face. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Another year of growing even more appreciative of our mythical family. Our mythical Aww. family that is here with us in this room. And extending across the globe. Our mythical family that is there on the other side of this screen. Uh, our, you, this little mythical family right here, father and son. Uh, <laughs> How you, son, it looks like you what? hurt. It, I hurt my, It looks hurt like you myself, hurt yourself. Dad. What happened? Why, why can't, can, can I be the dad tomorrow? Uh, Is that what know. we're gonna do for this this holiday break? We're gonna alternate being each other's dads? Uh, no, that wasn't what I was planning. Uh, I broke myself, and if you wanna know the complete story, um, the Ear Biscuits, which is our podcast, if you don't know, why don't you know? Um, is also out today. Yeah. And that. The gory details of that is, story. Is where I share the story of the bear battle. <laughs> I thought yeah. you were going to say bear back. But I'm broken. <laughs> I'm going to be my bear back bear he was, battle. He was riding bear Dad. back. Dad. It's quite a story. Um, so, what else? <laughs> I'm going to be wearing this sling not only all this week, not only all next week, but I mean. <laughs> Just get used to this thing through January. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's the nature of my injury. I go into all the details. It involves an encounter with an angel. I, I'll just leave it at that, yep. seriously. Okay, so to share our appreciation uh, with you as 2022 comes to a close, we are looking back this week and reliving our favorite episodes mm -hmm. from the year. Um, we picked them. Yes, we did. Yeah, we did. Next week, we're doing something a little bit different and we're not gonna tell you what that is yet. It's something we've never done before to end the year, but she gonna like it. Yeah, so unlike previous years, this time Link and I stepped in and we said, we want to pick the ones that are our favorites. And that's what we, we did, We don't right? want you to make the choices, we wanna make the choices. How, we took the power back. How did we, um, how did we make the choices? Uh, we were presented with all the options. Uh, every single episode that came out this year, we watched every, every single, single episode, episode twice. Twice again, it took several <laughs> days, uh, but we decided on our favorites because we Separately. have favorites. And then we then we um, uh, fought each other. Of course, me with one arm, I still I still won most. Of the we time. fought bareback, and I broke Link's arm, <laughs> and that's how we arrived at I didn't our know, favorite. I've uh, never seen that episodes. movie, but there's a is there a spitting in the hand moment? Are you talking about Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> Why did you? Th it's not called Bareback Mountain. Oh, it's not. No. Is that the sequel? That's the porn version. <laughs> I should see it. I think you know. I think I'm ready for it. Yeah. Well, you are now. Okay. We yes, we have favorite episodes, just like we have favorite ice cream flavors, just like I have favorite children. I love you. <laughs> All right. Today we're talking about amazing food creations. Um, this is not amazing taste we experienced. This is amazing stuff that you guys made. A lot to celebrate, Nicole, Trevor, the work that you guys did. Where's Josh? Who cares? Right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, but we, we dug into, or you dug into your bag of culinary tricks, but I think we have found what we feel are the best three episodes food episodes, I think we did a good job of picking those. All right, so to kick things off, uh, we're going with an episode that combined one of our favorite formats on the show with one of our favorite beaded ice creams. Mm. Beaded. Mm -hmm. beaded. Will it dip in dots? Let's check it out. So, if Dippin' Dots has changed the rules of ice cream form, then why can't the rules of when you eat ice cream change as well? Well, personally, I think ice cream has the potential to be a routine breakfast choice, specifically pancakes. May we present International House of Dippin' Dots, AKA I Hard. I Hard. I Hard. I hard do do it. I'm gonna do it the way I would do it if I was eating pancakes. I would put butter, and then I would put. Well, I'm mostly interested in just the pancake one, so I'm eating that one alone right now. Syrup, and then I would put it all in my mouth like this. Well, that is a really good. You can get them real mixed up here. Flavor. 
Yeah. Yeah, we soaked the cream in actual pancakes and then we blended some pancake into that before dropping it in the liquid nitrogen. This is a revolution. This is so good, man. This is what all food's gonna be like in the future? Presenting the BLT DDD. Josh, what did you do? Is the frilly toothpick still in there? Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> just like it, it would be in a sandwich. <laughs> oh, you get it's, it. It's an ice cream sandwich. Whoa! Whoa, that mayonnaise and bread. Whew, that's tough. It's real oh. tangy. It's not bad. Oh, don't commit as hard as I did. I'm, I know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna try. Oh like, my gosh. I'm gonna try the lettuce. Well, what's a straight tomato taste like? Oh, that's the worst, dude. Mm. Fish food. You know what? Fish food. Do it together with no lettuce and it's not too bad. <laughs> Lettuce is so bad. Why is the lettuce so bad? Because lettuce is bad. It's an uphill battle, man, trying to create lettuce Dippin' Dots. So before we can decide if Dippin' Dots can handle the essence of this Chinese delicacy, let's get reacquainted with the century egg. I'm sure you're excited about this Oh link. my goodness. Uh, Josh, we, how does this happen it? again? We've eaten this before? Yeah, it's, uh, at some point. Now that we've experienced the century egg, oh. Let's see if they can if they can be in Dippin' Dots. 100 years of Dippin' Dots, bring it in. Uh, it's pretty. It is pretty. Uh, it's pretty. I mean, I know this is gonna be better than eating the egg. Cause it's colder. If it's decent, we can market it as decent. Like actually decent. Yeah. Not gonna, it's not well, gonna. And isn't it interesting that the ice cream of the future is reaching back into the past? Yeah. Cause that's what this is. It's supposed to be like an egg that was just like buried for a hundred years. I really do think we have made ice cream of the present. Yep. That's weird. It's the weirdest ice cream I've ever eaten. Here's what I'll say. It's very eggy, <laughs> very eggy. If you like the taste of a century egg, you will love this ice cream because it is this oh. like very pristine representation of that sulfur taste that you get in mm. that Yolk. Yes, this is a nice little decent gimmick. It's such a great translation of this. <laughs> Even if you don't like it, that I think, I mean, I feel like we've gotta say century eggs, will it dip in dots? Yes. yes. Totally on board It was, with that. if that's what you're into. So it, it I'm speechless. Yeah, me too, The things man. that were, I thought would be the nastiest actually worked. When you dip and dot eyes something and you make it super, super cold, it makes it, Kinda, kinda palatable. Right. Such a fave. Uh, do you remember what it was like that night when you went home? Because I know your wife was a Dippin' Dots employee, and I know. I, yeah, she, she was had, in college one summer. She has a thing for Dippin' Dots. She has a thing for you. Did you have a good time that night? Um, I didn't. I I didn't bring home any of the Dippin' Dots. Oh. That's what I should have done, well, you man. Home too. <laughs> yes, and I dipped them. <laughs> I dipped my dots. Come on, man. Let's keep it together. Let's keep it together. I, that, I was, it was a joke about how small they are, though. Is this? Like, a, I know. Little, little, little. That's what. That was my joke. Is, is this a couple is of it, dipping Nicole, dots? Nicole, is this one of your favorites? The dipping dots. You know, um, I actually wasn't here this day. Trevor did a lot. Trevor. Of, Trevor did a lot of the work on. So it. you yeah. stepped up. Was this one? Of, this was one of your favorites. It was really fun to do, but I could go without seeing liquid nitrogen for a long time. <laughs> it burned our mouths, man. Yeah, it was. It was rough. It's cold. You should apologize. No, you did an incredible job. I, I was I would, super impressed. I would kill for those those pancakes. And so again. much of it tasted good. But as you know, this show's not always about us tasting good things. No. Sometimes it's about things that we absolutely hate. Uh, that's why we're gonna be watching, what's the worst GMM food? Yeah, we picked this one, I mean, it was such a, a milestone episode, you know? When we had to go back through all of these things again. Because so, each so one now, of those things made for a really, really bad day that when we had them originally, and then having them all together was made for a really, really bad week. So now we're reliving an episode where we relived episodes. Are we gonna still be here when this is over? We're jumping right in with the number one seed, Bile Cheesecake. God. Thank it. What's? <laughs> Don't ask me what I'm thinking. I'm trying not to. And are you just gonna? We have to do this like a hundred times to you're to down it, right? <laughs> I, don't even, I can't even do the math. You're just trying to down it, right? I'm trying to get it in the mouth. And down the throat. Well, yeah. Double D. Oh, come on, don't dig again. And sink. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> okay. How did you get it down? Right okay. there. That's full brain. Does this have nutritional value? Yeah, oh, oh, it makes come you on. Smarter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it makes you smart like a pig. Just like a pig, man. <laughs> oh. Oh. They, oh. Okay, well, you know, I'm just touching it with the same thing that you're eating, so no, no reason to pull away. Here I we go. I I don't know how I can keep Let's this up. Let's just do we it. Gotta man. Angry. We gotta get angry. Gotta get. Yeah, we gotta get more enthusiastic. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Three. Come three, on, guys. One. Be smart like a pig. I'm a smart like a pig. Mm. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Mm. Somehow oh, the yeah. anus is so... Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? Dude. Gonna chompy chompy? I feel like, I mean, I can't put the whole thing. I'm gonna try to just bite down and get some anus. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Here we go. It tastes like the runoff from a thrift store. Oh. Pain ass. I'm just going to have to send it down the hatch. Three, two, one, 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 one. I can't get it down. <laughs> Negative three. No way. For old time's sake, where it all began. Dink it. Dink it. And sink it. Oh, God, God. Oh, God. No. Uh -uh. I disagree. Hold on, guys. Just one last drizzle. One last drizzle. So I'm so, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so, 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 Savor it. <laughs> Is that you like that? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, I moved the back of your eyeball and pop out your head. <laughs> My God, what have we what have we done? Oh, it was worse. I, I kinda I'm I'm kinda cool with it. Okay, so which one's worse, Josh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. This is the last gross thing we're ever gonna eat on this show. <laughs> Can't do it. The worst thing that we've ever had on Good Mythical Morning, it turns out we've been lying to ourselves for a couple of years now. It's yeah. not bile cheesecake. And to the press. It's pork blood taco. I hate watching that. Why do you enjoy it? <laughs> I, I got a kick out of the Josh part. I mean, getting him to eat some nasty food seems like something that we should revisit. But it's uh, got, I mean, I like watching that was the nastiest stuff. It's like, Maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's good to watch other people struggle because I did like, enjoy watching Josh right. struggle that's, with it. That's what you're doing, I but guess. But not Because you're not us. me and you're not him. Um, you did well, though. Like, I ended up tapping out more. You know, earlier than you, almost every time. I don't. What I, happened? I don't know what I tapped into so that I wouldn't tap out. Like I, I don't recall. But like, like a, a, I think it was a mentality that like we're never doing this again. Like what I said in the episode. But that's not. This even is true. the last time. But that we're going to eat something this gross. And it wasn't. And it, wasn't true. it wasn't true. But I believed it. Oh. Because okay. I thought that I have some sort of like sway around here, which I don't. Uh, well, Apparently, we'll keep I don't. It, we'll keep it that way. We got to keep. We got to keep doing some gross stuff. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully your holiday food choices will uh, bring you more joy than all of those foods did. And you know what? If you want to make sure that you are eating the best stuff available at the grocery store for you to put on your boop, holiday boop, plate, boop, you boop, should go boop. over to sports.com because they're telling you about all the best holiday foods. We got vegan turkey roasts. Yes, that can be good. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. What, I wonder what the best chocolate chip cookies are according to Sport. Uh, according to Santa. 
I mean, if you make Santa that happy, um, what happens? Well, What's find, the best eggnog? You'll find Don't out. Don't you wanna know? Sport.com for all the best holiday foods. Okay, um, so this favorite episode is one of the most innovative food creation episodes of 2022, in our opinion. Yes, oh, and also an episode that introduced us to one of our favorite tiny giant characters. It's we turn tiny food into giant food, you remember? Let's take a trip down memory lane. All right, first up, we've got tiny Little Debbie Swiss rolls up against Big Lucky Charms. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. I said Big Lucky Charms. <laughs> the issue is, is that I don't see any uh, tiny Swiss rolls anywhere. No. There's no packaging for it. You know what? Oh, maybe if there is a giant Deborah, there's a tiny giant Deborah too who can help us. Let's find out. Tiny giant Deborah, hear our call. We are big, but you are small. We hunger for your chocolate treat. Swiss rolls are all we want to eat. We pledge our loyalty for all you do. Tiny giant Deborah, please come through. Hey, guys. Hey, it's me. It's me. It worked. Hello. Just tiny giant Deborah. Hey. Giant giant rat or regu regular rat? It's hard to tell from here. I, I'm regular. I'm just regular, but I oh, am very big. Rat. Hi, regular Link. It's so nice to see you. You summoned me and I'm here and I brought my tiny Swiss rolls for you. We see that. We're gonna be eating those in a second. Thank you. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy them. Also, don't let giant Deborah know that you did my chant because she gets a little when we, like, oh, share she gets stuff. a little. Okay. Yeah. And I'm, I, I go by Deb too, not Debra. Debra is is her name, and also like my dad calls me Debra. Deb, Deb is what I prefer. Oh, okay. Well, okay. okay. Tiny giant Deb. Deb, got it. Uh -huh. Just little oh. tiny little cake oh, rolls. Oh my goodness. First of all, this seems like a good idea. Kind of seems like a turd to me. Oh man, it's hard. It might be hard to tell. But there is actually a perfect little swirl cross section there. Mm hmm. Oh. And of course, it's the same taste that you would expect from a normal Swiss cake roll. Just smaller. Just smaller. I guess you would just dunk it and bite it and then switch it. This is so light. Okay. Look at how light that is. Mm. Oh, 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 no! <laughs> I don't know about the huge cereal. Kind of makes me feel like I'm ruined. eating a big dog bone. We have got tiny wedding cake, oh, with its own little tiny knife, mm -hmm. versus big shrimp cocktail. Oh my goodness. We're in a celebratory mood, I guess it. No, why, no, why are you gonna turn it? <laughs> if you turn it that way, I'm just gonna turn that way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to grunt so much. Mm. Okay. I mean, there is some appeal to this because appeal. You, you get one shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> you get one little shrimp, and you just want ten more. It's like, why not just you're get shrimp, all that you're in one a bite? Man. I'm, a, I'm a shrimp man. That's some that's some straight up shrimp meat, y'all. I mean, the rice paper makes it a little difficult, but it's so appetizing looking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I I can't say I really enjoyed that. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Can I use this? This is my favorite line? part of the wedding. I mean, I could just give you the whole thing. I mean, maybe here. I think. I think what it's supposed to be is. Don't aren't we supposed to like wrap our arms around each other first? Yeah. And then I give this to you. No. And, and then I go like this. Then I stab you with this. Hey, put in, hey. This is a little knife. No, you it's can, not uh, even a real no, knife. Stop! Is it? Stop! Is it a real it's knife? It's so real. Let go. Let go. Let go. Okay. Let go. Let go. Oh gosh. <laughs> Prenup. <laughs> you know that episode changed my life because I've been having one of those big shrimp every day, <laughs> every day since then. A big shrimp a day. It wasn't. It wasn't that great. It was kind of nasty. Yeah, I, I I really really loved it. Couldn't you tell? I mean, no. But I haven't been able to get you to feed it to me yet. 
Well, we had so much trouble with that wedding cake, you know, yeah, right. getting the logistics down. Um, the Tiny Deborah thing, that was good work. Morgan, no, you were on that? You tiny, you tiny Deborah eyes, that whole thing? All right, did you hate us afterward? Every time something like that happens, I'm like, did we do it? We did that live, like, yeah. the Tiny Deborah was on a green screen. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Morgan, Morgan doesn't like it when we spoil things, even if it is giving him credit. Yeah, I was, that's what I was thinking about. I was, think, I was thinking about. <sighs> that was so realistic. That looks very realistic. Yeah, so right. tiny yet so present. And the interaction was so live. Yeah, it was, and you could tell that. You could, you could, it, didn't you could seem, tell it. it didn't seem scripted. You t right. Because if it was scripted, it would have been a little bit funnier. <laughs> right. We don't like to make things too funny here. Yeah, right, anymore. right, right. We're kind of over that. Yeah. We're kind of in like. We're in the you know don't what? be too funny mode. Right. And don't and don't use two arms. Like I'm so over that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So over that. Uh huh. Uh, it, that was it, guys. Any? Do you like our picks? Any final words? Any notes? You guys are doing wonderful. I mean, Trevor, do you have anything to say? Uh, yeah, it's really fun to make food for you guys. You guys are really wacky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're so wacky. Watch now that guys. that was scripted, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally say that. We told you to say that. <laughs> call us wacky. Call it. Yeah. We love it. We that's call the us new wacky. the new mandate for 2023 is Trevor's got to call us wacky <laughs> as much as possible. <laughs> All right, if you want to watch uh, those full episodes, and I recommend you do, even if you've seen them before, you want to see them again. Oh yeah. I mean, you you want to experience all those mouth noises. Uh, links are in the description, okay? Yes. And you know what? The come doobly back, do. Come back on Wednesday, because we're going to be highlighting our favorite unhinged episodes of 2020. So we're not doing an episode tomorrow? Uh, I wasn't planning on it. We're easing out of it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just so skip, so, skip, so skip tomorrow, come back the day after tomorrow, and we're not doing a more right now. So um, uh, there is no more. This is it. Sport has gathered together all the best foods for the holiday in one page. From the best holiday beers to the best peppermint bark and more, visit sport.com for all the best holiday foods.